Hello, I'm glad to see you here at this demonstration video I created for you. Now that you have seen my introduction to myself and my work and what I do and why I do, it is this demonstration video has been created specifically for you to be able to decide whether if the course is for you. Are you ready for a course like this? I don't want you to make an idle investment. I would like to make sure that everyone who invests into this course will get the most out of it that benefits them in their life at this stage the most productive way. Um, this course is go uh, this video is going to be a, first of all a demonstration of how the courses are delivered and for you it is to see whether if you are a student that is ideally going to watch these videos and fill out and complete the workbook um, assignments. Uh, is it meeting your learning style needs? It will be for you to decide whether if you, your business, your faith, and your commitment to service to others is at the level of maturity that this course requires. So I'm going to get down to describing what it is about and you must take notes. I suggest that with every entry that you find yourself um, hearing in this um, presentation, you either put it on the side of the page that is for taking the course or to the other side of the page of your paper that is against or not quite there yet, maybe another time, maybe down the line. Um, I should think that it is, shouldn't be very hard for you to make the plunge if you are already a Jesus disciple. But uh, let's see what it requires. It is for you to decide if this course is for you. I cannot do that for you, but you need to watch this video all the way and listen carefully and answer my questions honestly regarding if you are ready for this commitment of service in your life. You need to realize and enjoy the fact fight for everlasting life with God. You are qualified for everlasting service in His name. Therefore, let's see if you recognize yourself in the following description of a biblical entrepreneur. The Bible is all about sin and salvation. It is a transformational love letter from God to his bride. Therefore, a Bible-based discipleship will have the very same qualities as the Bible itself. Biblical entrepreneurship is a discipleship quest on an alchemical path that is all about sin and salvation. And it is counseled by a love letter called the Bible from the archetypal entrepreneur God to his entrepreneurs, the disciples. Entrepreneur is a newly coiled term that means something like a subcontractor, but to an enterprise project that participants could hardly comprehend individually because of its complexity. First, we are the demoniacs of Marx 5 when 
we are to be the evangelists to the miracle that takes place and um, in such an encounter as with Christ. We are in the service to the Holy Spirit and only need to show up and testify. The Holy Spirit will bring salvation miracles to other demoniacs. We don't know what plagues us until we see with divine clarity the very presence of the living gospel truth, Jesus Christ himself. Therefore, without an encounter with Jesus, there is no biblical entrepreneurship. This is where you have to come clean right now in the very first place and in the very beginning and be honest with yourself. Do you have an encounter with Jesus Christ in your life currently or have you ever had one? Being on the Biblical Entrepreneurship Path will grow you in your faith never-endingly. It is one of the promised joys of having Jesus as a teacher and counselor. But you do have to be saved before you begin. Not just be a good student. You can be of service to others in, an other, in any other condition um, if the Holy Spirit causes it to be so but as a professional you need a more reliable approach you need to be consistently prepared for to respond to the call of service and for such service you only qualify if you know him you need to have a personal encounter with him and confess the conversion of your life the demoniac lives in the cemetery and that is a sign of spiritual death. He is a living dead among the dead. A biblical entrepreneur, can, entrepreneur cannot anymore be a living dead among the dead. You need to have come up to life and be ordained for this work by Jesus in his name. And his name you need to have received Jesus into your life if not ask him and ask him until the, he finally hears you you need to be willing to go through hardship for the sake of service because service is a privilege Remember that in um, hard times of despair, live for him in order for your service to be of any value to your customers, who you serve in Jesus' name. Unless you are at a season of your life when you are ready to serve and create solutions to problems, have the resources and strength to provide for the need, and find prayer, a true connection with God as well as a reliable resource, you are not ready to be a professional. When you are a professional in God's kingdom, and his service. You don't help by default in serendipity, even though under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Without salvation, you are still under the same death penalty as any of those you mean to bring to the foot of the cross. And without being ordained into professional service, you don't have a business. Thou, the Holy Spirit guides your steps. For the professional, the Holy Spirit guides their training and preparation. For one and only one single reason, a man's life has only one glory, 
and that is to glorify God. You only have everlasting life if you glorify the living God with the fruits of your service. Your fruits are a service to God, and you will only bear fruit to the vine, God vine, if you are connected to Him, and as the sole source of your fruitfulness. God's blessings have to flow through you and bless others. The Samaritan men wouldn't have been able to carry the beaten man from the road, nor to pay for the innkeeper if he did not have enough accumulated resources and strength. How many of us is in a burning desire to contribute to the life of the needy? Yet because of lack of provision and resources, we find no way to do so. And how many are the ignorant neighbors at heart and have no desire to do the right thing? Therefore, catalyst and provision has to be present at the same time. In the right moment when the opportunity asks for the action. If you were truthfully an awakened person and realized how much organization it had taken to be presented before you uh, this opportunity, including also that you are the one who is there, you would be scared out of your wits to ever consider what a loss it would be to pass by without a fulfillment of what the moment is asking for. Service all of a sudden doesn't feel like an option anymore. It is an existential question of stepping into your destiny or not. It is a defining and refining moment of being in the hand of God or being in the country of God. Don't miss your destiny. Um, take the hand of God reaching out and clinging to it as fast if your life depended on it. It is obvious for you to see that the life of your customer depends on it, but do you realize how much your own existence depends on it? Um, your service is your ticket into a higher calling to be present in the kingdom of God, because that is precisely what is going on. You either become a catalyst in service of God, or you remain a customer of God, a clear destiny refine, defining call. God doesn't give us rules to restrict our happiness. God gives us rules to preserve our happiness in a form of holiness. Divine discipline and His mercy and grace restore our holiness and heals our relationship with Him. Are you prepared to live a holy life for God? God's intention for our life is to be like Jesus. The purpose of the plan of salvation is to separate men from sin. The agenda of Satan is to put sin between man and his God and separate them. Your choice is always the same. Are you going to be part of the salvation solution or going to be part of the sin problem. That is the only choice 
we are making at every crossroad and that is the only choice we have at the heart of every dilemma in this life. God isn't going to confuse you with contradictory options. He has only one will for you. It is your job to hear what that is and Satan will do everything he possibly can to confuse you, to tempt you. Does this sim simplify it enough for you? Choose God. Stay simple. Just by visualizing his face, the face of Jesus, you invite him to catalyze you in that moment by his Holy Spirit and take over the work that is too hard for you. Can you do just that? Can you just visualize his face? Any face your heart desires to be his face will do. There is no need to compare it for anybody else's image of Jesus and idea of Jesus. You don't even need to pray or have words to speak for you. His face replaces it all. Just visualize the face of Jesus in any situation, any given time, and his power and thoughts, his heart and mind will take over the control. You will receive the right influence for your life and select the right influence for your life. Jesus will not stay where he is not welcome. You need to become aware of your spiritual schizophrenia that fights the ability to visualize his face and ban it from your life. There is counsel in the Bible and in pastoral practice for that kind of healing. I will not go into it. This is a business course and leadership training for practical religion. But that much I can tell you that if you never address spiritual schizophrenia in your life before, sooner or later you will have to go through it because without it you will be sabotaged by it at any stage of your work. If you need help in this matter, please find a professional pastor to facilitate, but do not attempt to use this course unless you achieved Christ's unity in your heart and mind. The success of this course is not dependent on my skills to teach it. It is dependent on your genuine availability to the work of the Holy Spirit in your soul's life. The only thing I know for sure that only the power of the Holy Spirit can sustain you on such a path as this. And if you decide to be on the biblical entrepreneurship path, you will want to pray for such power to enter your life and guide your steps with supernatural authority and provisions. You praying for it and accepting its blessings is an absolute vital importance uh, for your spiritual health and understanding an alchemical process such as being in service to Jesus Christ and his people. Jesus is the ultimate entrepreneur. We are simply intrapreneurs of the Heavenly Enterprise Project. The kingdom of God is present in this world to the extent it is present in the hearts of his people. Wherever God dwelleth, it is his dwelling place. Therefore, it is heaven. If heaven is in your heart, the kingdom is in your heart, not just the image of the kingdom. Therefore, in your heart, heaven is on earth. And that is exactly what Jesus prayed. Our Father, 
who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in the heavens. Are you an extension of the heavenly kingdom on earth? Is your heart um, clearly a real estate of Jesus purchased with his own life and blood? Do you understand that by qualifying for everlasting life, you qualify for everlasting service to others? When Jesus wants you to be of service to his people, he will provide the opportunity. Yes, it is Jesus who provides the opportunity and it will be unmissable. When he provides the opportunity, it is so improbably to have been arranged by default or human design that you know it can only be by divine calling. Your job is to prepare yourself according to your gifts unceasingly and not worry about the leads. You worry about being there for the content and the Holy Spirit wants what the Holy Spirit wants you to deliver. Jesus will lead you to your abundant neighbor, will make the need obvious and will fit you, equip you and provide you for your resources to all you need adequately. You need to prepare to meet your calling, your destiny, hone your ears to hear the call for action. It does not mean you don't need a sound online presence and marketing plan. It means that Jesus is in charge of using your services. That is already a mighty task in itself to be prepared to not miss your destiny. Watchfulness is key. Pray to God to give you clarity and wisdom. Pray to God to give you strength and provisions to do His will. Pray to God to give you joy to do His will. Pray to God to not miss a call for action moment. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray the same for you and me. Amen.